Welcome to 5 Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. Thanks again for joining us. Many of you have been with us through this whole series on prophecy titled, The King is Coming. Well, the King is coming, and today we're going to speak about one of the most spectacular events. I should correct that and say we're going to speak about the most spectacular event that anyone can possibly imagine. This is the glorious return of Jesus Christ. Now, if you were with us last time, you know that we talked about two very important passages. Zechariah tells us that Jesus is going to return to the Mount of Olives. Matthew 24 tells us that he will be seen by everyone as the lightning is seen. And we discussed in that episode how that could come about. But today, we come to the third passage that is most important, and you and I are involved. I hope you have a Bible, because as we go through this passage, we are going to be spellbound about what is going to happen, and the fact is, we are going to be eyewitnesses and a part of it. Revelation chapter 19 the marriage supper of the Lamb has just taken place. We discussed that earlier in this series. Verse 11, Then I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. I want to just pause there for just a moment and say that we don't know if this is actually literal. In those days, a white horse was, a, of course, a symbol of a king who was victorious. Perhaps it is literal, Whatever it signifies, it is very remarkable, but let me read it. Then I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. The one sitting on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, and he has a name written that no one knows but himself. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood. And the name by which he is called is the word of God. And the armies of heaven arrayed in fine linen, white and pure, were following him on white horses. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which he will strike down the nations. He will rule them with a rod of iron. He will tread the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty on his robe and on his thigh. The name is written, King of Kings and Lord of lords. I want to go through this passage looking at some of the details. You'll notice it says that his name is faithful and true. Why faithful and true? Well, because his promises are faithful and true. Aren't you glad that when Jesus said, he who believes on me has everlasting life, that is faithful and true? I know that this is not the Jesus that we think about at Christmas when we sing Away in a Manger, but it is the same Jesus coming now in judgment. His eyes are like a flame of fire. That means that he is omniscient and knows all things. On his head are many diadems. In those days, if a king won a battle over nations, the diadem of that particular king over which he won the battle was given to him. So Jesus has many diadems, having conquered the nations of the world. He has a name, it says, that no one knows but himself. Why that? Well, in those days, if you knew someone's name, you really knew them, and especially if you named them, but Jesus keeps that to himself. Only he knows who he truly is with all of his attributes. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood. This has nothing to do with the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses us. This is the blood of judgment. And of course then, the saints, the armies of heaven, are arrayed in white linen, white and pure, we're following him on white horses. Who are these armies? Well, you have to go back in the passage and discover that it is the saints. It's those who have been at the marriage supper of the Lamb. 
It is those who have come to know Christ who are participating in this victory. They don't have to do any fighting. Jesus takes care of all the fighting. But we will be there with him. There's so much else I could say here. There are two suppers. There's the married supper of the Lamb, and then there is the Supper of God. You have to read this for yourself because it's terrifying. That when Jesus Christ returns, there is going to be judgment, the likes of which you and I can scarcely visualize. Those who know him come in victory. Those who don't are going to be judged severely. And there will be a supper. Birds will be eating the flesh of those that Jesus conquers. And then we have a final verse that I want to give you. And the rest were slain by the sword that came from the mouth of him who was sitting on the horse. And all the birds were gorged with their flesh, but also the scripture says in a previous verse, and it's really the one I intended to read, that the beast and the false prophet are cast into the lake of fire. Satan is not yet in the lake of fire. If you want to find out why, I hope that you continue to listen to these episodes because that happens in the next chapter. But for today, I want to leave you with this, that if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, someday you are going to visit the city of Jerusalem you will return with the king to the Mount of Olives, the most spectacular, beautiful, competent tour guide that anyone could ever want. That's all part of our heritage, thanks to Jesus. I'm glad that you joined us today. I hope that you subscribe and follow us. And be sure to join us again next time. But as for today... You just go with God. Thanks for joining us for 5 Minutes with Pastor Lutzer. Moody Church Media exists to bring glory to God through the transformation of lives, and we believe this can happen through solid biblical teaching. Access our resources at moodymedia.org or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash moodychurchmedia. Join us next Monday as we continue to explore the deep truths of the Bible and the Christian faith together.